Tennessee at sunrise, weekday morning. Big doings in Tennessee this weekend, a marble shootout in the backwoods of the Cumberland Mountains. The marbles were made of flint, the music was pure hillbilly, and the competition was fierce. Dan Molina at the Great Mountain Shootout. <laughs> They came to this corner of the Cumberland Mountains from places like Turkey Creek, Free Hill, and Oak Grove. It was a day for first-class competition in a serious game of marbles. All the hambone and gravy and chicken is good. The mountain music being played nearby didn't distract these players. They're the best at a sport that's a world away from the game of marbles that a lot of us played as kids. The 40-foot-long field of play, or yard as it's called, has three very small holes along its length. Two-man teams oppose each other. Each player uses one marble. The object is to sink the marble into one hole after another while also blocking the players on the opposing team. It all involves elaborate strategy, and sometimes games stretch on for hours. Maybe on a Friday or Saturday night, they play till 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. There are tall tales of achievement. It's one marble in three games in a yard bigger than that right there. It is almost exclusively a man's game. My husband, of course. Is, in, is, playing, right. in the, is playing in the match. Right. Now, do you find it interesting, too? As long as he's in there, yeah, but when he's out of it, I'm going home. Most of the marbles are, in fact, made out of yeah. flint. Good ones bring a hefty price when the pros get together. It's generally agreed that there are no better marbles than the ones made by Bud Garrett. Bud has been a champion player for 65 years, but he dropped a motor on his shooting thumb the other day. Missing this tournament was no disappointment for him, though. It gave him a chance to fascinate the folks with his homemade marble-making machine. I've got some material here that's not fit to make marbles out of. It makes pretty marble, but they ain't no good. Nobody really knows how marble shooting got to be such a popular pastime in this part of the country. The game goes back at least 100 years, and judging from the determination of these competitors, it's likely the boys from Poorhouse Ridge will be taking aim at the boys from Pine Hill for at least 100 more. Dan Molina, NBC News, Standing Stone State Park, Tennessee. And that's our report this Sunday night. Tom Brokaw and Roger Mudd will be here tomorrow. I'm Chris Wallace in New York. Good night from all of us at NBC News.